What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Marion, with Restoring Ghettos Forgotten. And I'm here today with a short conversational piece about possession versus love. Do we really know the difference? And I'm here to try to make it clear because we need to get this thing right. We need to make sure we're loving people correctly. We need to make sure we're loving ourselves correctly. We're, we need to make sure we're able to receive and give healthy love. And how we do that is understanding we're in our lives. We are our own poison. So that's the topic of the video. If you haven't done so already, click and subscribe on my YouTube channel for more informative Real Talk videos. I know I don't get on here as much as I would like because I'm an extremely busy person and I'm actually operating in my life goals and, and, and taking care of my responsibilities. So I don't have a lot of time to get on here, but when there's something strong that I feel inside, and I'm passionate about, I like to make a video about it because it may can help someone. It may not help everybody, but it helps some people. And so uh, again, if you haven't done so already, please click and subscribe on my YouTube channel for more informative Real Talk videos. Okay, I'll, I'll get into it. Um, well, I wanted to say something first. On my last video, I shared some very personal things. Um, everybody knows my life is an open book. I wrote a book about my life, my testimonial. I'm not really shy about a lot of that stuff. But there are some things I hold to my heart and I hold dear that I don't I don't like to put out there. And so the last time I kind of shared some things and I got a lot of um, uh, bad feedback and I had to even go as far as deleting some comments and blocking some people. And I'm here to tell you, I don't disrespect anybody. I don't go on anybody's page disrespecting them and I'm not gonna tolerate it over here. This channel is basically about restoring ghettos forgotten. That means I'm here to uplift, to empower, to restore our people to a healthier state by the changing of our thought processes, by the changing of our subconscious thoughts, and by the purging of all of our toxic traits. And I do that by real life applications about some of the stuff that I've been through and I'm willing to open my life up as an open book as long as it helps somebody else. So that's what this channel is about. If you can't relate to it, then get off of it. Then just pass it by. But I'm not gonna stop uh, my work that God has given to me to encourage other people just because it's making some certain people uncomfortable. So please understand that I'm not going to tolerate disrespect. Uh, just disengage me. Just unfollow me because I will block you and I will delete your comments. So now that I got that little part out the way, I'm ready to go. And I just wanted to uh, bring up making sure we're not trying to possess someone versus love them and there's a great distinction but i think sometimes we get it twisted as human beings uh we think we're really loving somebody but we're actually trying to possess them and what i wanted to, wanted to say was sharing a life experience with someone can be beautiful as long as we realize we don't own the other party ownership sometimes mean control and our possessions and this is why many times the relationships will go left or they'll even fail so we have to be really careful with that. We have to understand that. And I had like a little note over here to kind of stay track. I like to stay on point. Um, so love has been defined by so many people and in so many ways. The dictionary defines it as an intense feeling of deep affection. People have use love to solve problems to justify problems and to fix problems the truth is love is our emotional reaction to someone or something now possession on the other hand has been defined as by people as owning and controlling something and someone now you can possess a material possession like a car that's paid for or a house that's paid for that's your possession that's what you own but another human being another soul you can never possess them don't even try to because it's very toxic and it's not healthy and how you can tell the difference between love and possession and then it just goes into love is a reaction to feeling trust in somebody or something trust is built through actions and open communication Having open communication of our feelings keeps us from going down the slippery, the slippery rabbit trails of our minds. The rabbit trails of jealousy, insecurity, doubt, um, the pillars are the pillars of possession. Communicating when we feel insecure in our relationship keeps the rabbit trails at bay. Without communication, there is no trust and no trust turns love into possession. Possessing our partners or things can make us uh, make us think we feel trusted and loved without us actually doing the work. Um, 
thus clouding our judgment and starting the slip the slippery rabbit trails of jealousy neediness and low self-esteem leading to the possible path of so many other factors and problems that we can bring into our relationships that's why it's so important communication is key we have to communicate how we feel we have to communicate more effectively without any animosity or anger but just sit down as human beings and talk to each other first face to face and put it out on the line exactly what what our expect, expectations are and, and and go from there but we have to have a healthy um we have to have healthy communication because healthy communication actually builds trust and when you build trust that builds love you can't have love without trust it just doesn't work that way so when you start not trusting someone the love will dissipate if you had it before it will dissipate and you would have to rebuild that relationship and gain more trust so you can have that healthy realm of love so i hope this makes sense i'm not going to be long i'm sitting outside my office i need to get in there and get get some work done but i wanted to bring that up because it's been on my mind for a while and uh like i said i shared some personal things in my last video many of you know uh, so my shit stinks too. Excuse my French. Um, I have come to realize in my life where I am my own poison, and I'm working on me right now. I'm I'm, I'm really taking a step back, slowing down, and and really purging some of the things that I thought I had gotten rid of out of me. So I'm I'm working on me. I'm no longer trying to fix another person. I'm fixing me. I'm asking God to fix me. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm a little quiet. I'm doing my work. I'm working hard and I'm still loving people. And I just want to learn how to love people more correctly and 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 be more open to new idealisms and, and new experiences and just enjoying and thriving in this life. I spent half of my life surviving and I'm no longer surviving anymore. I'm actually thriving and it's such a wonderful place to be. But I'm 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 thriving, but I'm also healing. So I'm in this healing process. So I'm guarding my gates, and I don't like I don't let a lot of people in right now, and 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 I apologize if I haven't been as communicated, you know, been a, a great communicator lately. Uh, but I'm basically taking a step back and trying to heal myself, in an, in in a sense, in certain areas of my life. And I hope that makes sense to you guys. But um, that's why I hadn't been on here. But this topic did not go away because I think that in essence of why many of our relationships fail is because we confuse possession with love. Just because you're married 20 years doesn't mean you own your spouse. That's not your possession. And I think the real reason why I got on here to point it out is because there's so much domestic violence situations going on in the world today. And there's so many news stories that's coming up when you hear of a oh, um, husband and a wife divorcing and then the man just goes off in a tangent and he kills him, his wife, the children and himself because you know why? He didn't love that woman. He didn't love those children. Those were his possessions and when he felt like he was going to lose them, he flipped and so that's why we have to be real careful because we think we have it all together but we don't. We can slip like everybody else. We have to make sure we're loving people correctly and placing them in the right positions in our lives, being our source, which is God, then us, of course, because we have to love ourselves and everybody else fall under that. Understanding that we don't own any other human being, any other soul on this earth. Understanding that, I mean, we're really not in control of anything outside of how we respond to everything that happens to us, really. That would make our lives so much more simpler if we would just realize, hey, I have no control over what's going to happen, but I have control over how I respond. I have control over my feelings and my thoughts, my mind and all those things. I have control over that, but I don't have control over another human being. I don't have control over what's going to happen tomorrow. I can only deal with how I respond to it. So um, that's basically it. I just want you guys to understand that until we get that heart issue right, until we get that right, until we heal that heart, that brokenness that we've experienced in our lives, whether it been from childhood or whether it been from our, our adult lives, we have to fix that heart issue, that internal heart issue, so that we can be able to love and give love effectively 
and 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 correctly and so and i just wanted to mention this is something that really came uh to heart for me it's like you can have heaven at your front door i'm talking to the ladies and the and the gentlemen you can have heaven at your front door but because of fear reminding you of your past you can't even open the door to your own happiness so isn't that a tragedy why don't we work on those issues so that we can be able to receive all god's goodness all god's great things because he has so many great things for us but we have to know that we deserve them we have to know that we can receive all god's goodness and in order to do that we got to be healthy and whole we have to forgive we have to purge our toxic traits and sometimes you got to repurge them because sometimes there's some remnants of your past hurts and pains stealing your subconscious thoughts and they'll come up because you have people that will irritate you or will trigger some of your old things that you put aside. And then you have to remember, no, I remember God healed me from this. So this is no longer my issue. So I'm going to put this where it belongs because it was already put away. And sometimes you have to reaffirm that. You have to actually do that and say, no, I've been here before. This is no longer my, my issue or my problem. So I'm going to put that away and you're gonna move forward and that's how you do it now if you if you're dealing with somebody that keeps irritating some stuff you've put away that may not be the person for you because you need people that's not gonna trigger some of the bad things that you've already put away or remind you of some of those bad things and 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 so you have to really consider that but sometimes it's just us it's just our inner selves and, and it's fear. So we have to let the fear go in understanding that if God is for us, who can be against us? So he's going to always be protecting us and guiding us and giving us discernment and all these things that's going to help us along the way. So I hope that I hope this video makes sense, but I wanted to put it out there. Uh, possession versus love. We have to know the difference. A lot of us believe so wholeheartedly that we love somebody, but we actually have love and possession mixed up. And that's going to ruin your relationship if you don't get that part right. So I'm done. Uh, like I said, it was going to be a very short conversational piece. If you have anything to add, maybe something that I missed or something that a life experience that you went through to where you can relate to where you actually was more possessive than loving to someone that you were with, chime in and just put it down because we'll never know who we're going to help when they see these videos or the comments that can actually strike a chord in their, their mind to help them think of something differently, to change their perspective on life or their perception is really what I try to do is just spark a thought because that's where it starts. Everything starts in your mind, everything, whether it be good or bad. That's why it's always good to stay positive and, and loving and encouraging. And I know one prayer I said this morning because I'm dealing with some things myself again. I'm, I've shared that. I'm very, very transparent and open about who I am in hopes to help other people. But I was in my prayer closet and I was praying this morning and I say, Lord, no matter what, don't allow this world to change my heart because that's something he gave me. I say, Lord, I want it to be flesh. I want it to be real. I want it to be whole. I want it to be secure and loving and and. And, and just so full of love that I just pour it out on everybody that I go around. I don't want that to change. Um, I think a lot of times we get hurt or we get disappointed and we think maybe it's just because of my heart. No, that's what sets you apart. That's what makes you different. That's a gift. Some people's hearts are so cold and black that they may not ever get a flesh heart again. It may not ever become flesh again because they've given up on love, they've given up on life. And it's all a tragedy. But I tell you what, if you got a good heart and you love others and you and you do right by people, don't allow this world to change that for you. Always keep that. Just be very cautious of who you share it with an aspect of who you let get close to it because it's so powerful. It's more powerful than we can ever imagine to love and to give without strings attached. Just being who you are and who God created you to be. Don't allow nobody to change that. So I'm done. I love you guys. I appreciate you for clicking on this video. Remember to always put God first. Love yourself. Love others. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.